Hello everyone, you're tuning in to another episode of Collecting Hobbit. Um, I'm James, and today we're taking a look at my very first video review of the Hobbit action figures, or figures I should say, as there are no action gimmicks. Um, but yes, today we're going to be taking a look at the Bilbo Baggins and Golem 2-pack. I thought what a, better, what a good way to start off would be to do a review of the Hobbit himself, uh, Bilbo Baggins. So, today we're taking a look at the 2-pack. Um, and a very nice two-pack indeed. It's obviously of the Riddles in the Dark scene, which is going to be very iconic. Um, definitely an iconic part of the book, but uh, very nice. Um, so first off, we'll take a look at the packaging. Um, the packaging is just <laughs> phenomenal. Um, I absolutely love the packaging they're going that the Bridge Direct has created for these figurines. Um, but very cool. Um, first thing I noticed when I saw this in the store is just how small Bilbo and Gollum really are. They look absolutely tiny in this. Um, relatively big packaging. Um, now these are obviously the 3 inch scale ones. Um, the 6 inch ones haven't come out in my area yet but still nonetheless pretty cool. Can't wait to get the 6 inch Bilbo that's gonna be really cool but um, this is absolutely fine by me. Um, now it's on a card back. Um, the card is relatively sturdy card. Um, it's not cheap card which is good. Um, then you've got a plastic bubble which is decorated with this nice um, border outline. It's kind of uh, elf-like, I'd say. Um, but uh, the packaging overall has a very nice Lord of the Rings feel to it. You've got the Hobbit, an unexpected journey in the movie font, obviously. Um, you've got this nice pillar which has all like this um, fungus and vines and all this growing on it. Uh, in the background at the top here you can see the Misty Mountains. Well, I'm assuming that's the Misty Mountains but it'll be pretty cool. Um, you get a picture of Bilbo Baggins and Gollum. Pretty sweet. Um, and then on the bottom here you get the, the names Bilbo Baggins and Gollum. Um, unfortunately the Australian versions have uh, the other languages on it. Um, hopefully this is just because um, they've only come out in Big W here in Australia so far. Um, hopefully that um, like Toys R Us or something has just the standard American names which only has the English. I uh, hope that's the case. If that is the case, I'm going to have to buy another set of the figures again, just so I can have the American ones. Um, but, you know, uh, absolutely fantastic. Um, wish I didn't have the other languages, but I'll get over it. Uh, hopefully other stores will have just the standard American release. Um, at the bottom here you get the Hobbit website. Uh, go check that out if you have time. Pretty cool. Um, the side. <laughs> uh, the bottom, you just got like all these company names and all this stuff. Uh, pretty cool. On the back, the back is very nice. It's very colourful. Um, up here, you get like uh, the name Bilbo Baggins and Gollum, only in the English, which is good. Um, and this nice scenic background, which is cool. Then it fades into like this rough, like up the top here, you get like elvish designing. Um, it looks really cool. I really love it. It's really textured, very detailed, the back of the packaging, which is really cool. I love the font they used for the writing, um, for the description of the movie. It's pretty cool. Um, obviously, that's just the description of the first two lines, then the other... Those two paragraphs are another language. And then uh, this top section here is the bio for Bilbo Baggins and Gollum. I'm not going to read it. I'll see if I can... You can pause the video now and read it if you have good eyesight. <laughs> um, then, yeah, just other languages. Hopefully we get the American version so we don't have all this extra writing. But yeah, it's all good. Um, you get the prototype pictures of Bilbo Baggins and Gollum. Um, I'm really happy they changed uh, Gollum up a bit. Uh, it would have been weird if it was just in that s straight stance. I'm really glad they put him in a Gollum sort of pose. Uh, Bilbo Baggins looks pretty cool though. Um, over here, also available, you get Killy the Dwarf and Philly the Dwarf, which I do have. Dwalin the Dwarf and Balin the Dwarf. Uh, I do have that as well, and I also have Legolas Greenleaf and Tariel. Um, so, pretty cool. You get logos, the barcode, Hobbit website again. Uh, overall, the packaging, pretty awesome. Okay, so now on to the fun bit of the review, where we take a look at the figures themselves. And like I said before, these are just absolutely tiny figures. Um, 
but very cool. I'm really happy with them. The detail on them is fantastic. Um, I know people have complained that the three-inch Bilbo doesn't look too much like Martin Freeman, but um, when you get the figure in hand and you play around with him a bit, the, he ha he does look a bit like Martin Freeman. I'll just there's a picture from the thing. You know, I can see it. I can see it. I it's there. It's just very faint. Um, keep in mind these are the just the first movie toys. Well. We're gonna get the trilogy of the Hobbit, so they're doing all the toys for them as well. So, um, the Bilbo sculpt may get better, but um, the sculpt is fantastic for the size of this. Like, I'll do a size comparison in a minute, but um, just the detail and the articulation on Bilbo is just absolutely blew my mind. Um, we're very cool. So, before we take a look at Bilbo, I'll just put Bilbo in the background here. We'll take a look at Gollum. <laughs> Gollum, uh, what a surprising figure. Um, he hasn't got that much articulation because he's such a small figure and very skinny. Um, but very cool nonetheless. I'm really happy with the pose they got him in. Uh, it looks cool. You can't really get him in a um, crawling pose. But, you know, um, you can work with it. But um, the pose they got him in is fine. He's just standing. But, but it looks cool. He looks sinister. He looks tricky. Like... He's a little gingly fella. Um, I don't even know what gingly means, but we're going to roll with that. Um, but very cool. The detail on him is cool. He's got like this wash that's applied to him for like weathered, and it really highlights the details on him. Like his back. Oh, is that focusing? There we go. Whoops. Focus. Oh, oh not focusing. Just try to make it focus. Alright, so you can see like it, the um, highlighting of the paint wash that they did um, really brings out the details and like his shoulder bones, his spine, his arms. It just overall gives the figure a really good quality look. Um, I, on from pictures, I thought this pink around his eyes was gonna bu bug me, but it's really not too bad in person, and it really fades into his skin, which is good. Um, his hair has been um, painted on, which um, looks pretty good. Uh, it's painted on and nice, it's not sloppy at all. Um, the figure overall is just a very nice l little golem figure. Um, very cool, his loincloth, um, his feet. I would have liked to see his feet a little bit more muddied up, but you know, I don't care, it's fine. Uh, no peg holes on here, on the bottom of his feet. That's on all of the figures, they got no peg holes, but so you can't. Um, clip them to bases or whatever, but they stand up fine without bases, which is another thing I really like about the figures. They don't need bases; they just they stand up perfectly. So uh, that's pretty much Gollum. We'll put him in the back, and we'll bring in the main attraction, Bilbo Baggins. Uh, is that coming out blurry? I'll just zoom out a bit. Alright, so Bilbo Baggins, he is just absolutely amazing. This is one of the figures I was looking forward to. Um, Bilbo is my favourite Hobbit. <laughs> um, out of like the Lord of the Rings and all that. Um, so, uh, very nice to have Bilbo. And I think Martin Freeman is going to be awesome as Bilbo Baggins. But, yeah, we'll just wait and see. But I'm pretty sure he's going to be amazing. Um, so, yes, um, he's very deta he's detailed. Um, he hasn't got um, too much of a paint wash over him. But, um... He looks cool. He looks cool. He's very tiny and looks awesome. <laughs> he comes with Sting, which is very tiny. Oh, and I left him my, uh, I left him my bookshelf. He also comes with like these um a knapsack and a water jug so you can just um place around him. I'll get it when we when I do the size comparison. I'll place him on him so you can see what it looks like with him on. But he comes with Sting, which is very tiny. Um. I'm amazed they put that detail on the blade. I don't know if you can see that. No, you can't. You can kind of see it there. They've, like, edged in that detail. Um, the handle doesn't look too much like Sting, but it's acceptable for its size. It doesn't bug me at all. Um, and he has a sheath on him. This Sting can just be sheathed in there very nicely, and it's a nice tight fit. Um, very cool. Uh, Bilbo has his ascot, which is on a separate piece. So if you pop his head off, you can pop the ascot off as well. Uh, very cool. He's got his brown pants, and he's detailed all the way to his hobbit feet, which I'll zoom in. 
As you can see, he's got little hobbit feet, little hair on his feet. I'm very cool. Uh, his jacket's a nice dark red jacket, which has, if you look closely, nice detail. Um, if you open up the jacket a bit, you can see it's got like nice detail on it. It's got like streaks and lines and curves and all this. Um, there, it looks really cool. Um, it's really, um, it's hard plastic, so you know, you can't really open it up too much. Um, his vest, pretty cool. Um, and yeah, his articulation, now he's full of articulation, um, his head is on a ball joint, so it can go all the way around. Whoops. That's got, <laughs> um, so his head can go all the way around. It can go up slightly and down slightly. Uh, it can tilt it sideways a bit. Um, you know, tilt it sideways, um, pretty cool. His arms go all the way around, out and in, bend at the elbow, rotate at the elbow, uh, rotate at the wrist. Um, he's got waist movement, waist swivel, so you can swivel at the waist. Um, his legs go out and in, and it's on this weird ball joint, so if you twist the leg you can see the joint in there and just twist the leg at the knee and you can lift his leg up uh, that's pretty cool um, so uh, his knees he's got a hinged knee so he can bend his knee um, like that and that's that's all the articulation um he hasn't got hinged uh, ankles uh, the six inch one does but uh, I'm not really complaining with the three inch I mean this is a tiny figure um he stands up just fine, like, you know, whoops, <laughs> you just place him down and he stands up, um, same with Gollum, same with all of them, you just place him down and they stand up just fine, which is fantastic, um, but, I'll put Sting back in his hand, shall we? There we go, there we go, a uh, very cool Bilbo figure, um, both the figures, absolutely amazing, pick him up, um, now we'll just do a little size comparison. Okay, so here's the size comparison um, with Bilbo and Gollum um, behind, um, in front of Four and Oak and Shield and Gandalf the Grey. Now Gandalf the Grey is um, your standard three inch figure, and um, Four is a little bit smaller, and Bilbo and Gollum are just tiny, <laughs> um, but a very cool size. I'm very happy with the scale as well. I mean, in the movie, Four will be a bit smaller than like. It'll be a bit more smaller. It's just um, it'll be like a slight bit above Bilbo's head. But um, figure-wise, I think that's a great scale. You know, four and smaller, so that's fine by me. Um, but uh, yeah, fantastic figures. Um, I love the scale. The scale is fine for me. I think it's brilliant. Um, and yeah, this is what Bilbo looks like with his accessories on. It makes him a little bit bulky, but um. Nothing too bad, you can, you can work with it, work with it, <laughs> it looks alright with them on, but yeah, that's the scale, and um, yeah, two very awesome figures, I highly recommend them, and until, and um, yeah, so um, this end of the review, I guess, um, the awkward end of the review, when you're trying to figure out how to end it, um, I know, uh, so um, that's the end of the review, like I've said about five times now. Um, so in my next review, tell me which uh, figure you want me to review. I've got pretty much all of them except the Beast Packs, the Goblin King, uh, Bolg and Gandalf. I've got all of them but that. So uh, basically I've got all the single carded ones and the double packs. So out of them, which, whichever you want me to review, tell me and I should do that. If you don't tell me, I'll review whichever one I decide. So catch you guys later. Thanks for watching. See ya.